HSE Game of Thrones. It's always a great day to be a hawk. I'm coming to you guys live from Mr. Larson's classroom, where I'm filming in front of a live studio audience. This is our kickoff for the Harvey Swanson Gameathon 2013. Woo! So coming home today, in your backpacks, you're going to see a pink handout, and it's got our Gameathon logo on it. On this will be very important information for your parents to know, but I'm going to tell you guys because the best messenger of information are Harvey Swanson students to Harvey Swanson parents. So, the first thing I want you to know is this Gameathon is taking the place of our fun run. In the past, we've done a fun run. It's been outside. We've just been running. Running is still going to be a part of our Gameathon, but it's only going to be one part. We'll find out more about the games later. We're trying to raise seven. Thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Ooh, a lot of money. I know. So we need your help, and we're hoping that you guys can get excited about the games we're going to play, and you get excited about raising money uh, for our fun run this year. So that's our goal. Um, the cool thing about events like this is that our help group, which is the, per the, the group we're raising money for, they're the ones that get to keep 100 percent. That means everything we raise gets to stay with the help group. If we did something like selling magazines or selling candy, we have to split that with the company that made the product. We don't have to do that this time. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to show you guys all about the different games we're going to be playing. Are you guys excited about the games? Hula hooping. Students will have four minutes to hula hoop. They will be awarded a point for every five hoop rotations that they accomplish with a maximum of 15 points earned. Here you see Mrs. Abney, our mileage club helper, doing her best to hula hoop. Notice how she's smiling and having fun. She can't hula hoop great every time. It's all about having fun and earning points. Jumping rope. Students will be given four minutes to jump rope. They will get a point for every five jumps with a maximum of 15 points earned. Here you see Mrs. Meisner, who is one of our help group members and also works in the preschool at Harvey Swanson jumping rope. She hasn't jump, jumped rope in a long time and she's still having a good time. Basketball dribbling. Students will be given four minutes to dribble. They will get a point for every 10 dribbles with a maximum of 15 points being earned. Maybe some of you have noticed the new hoop that's on our playground. That was bought with funds donated by the help group. Running. Running, where the fun run all began. Students will be given eight minutes to walk or run the mileage club track. Lines will be drawn in equal distances all the way around the track and a point will be earned for each line crossed. Sack race. Lines will be drawn on a field and a point will be earned for each line crossed. Paper airplane toss. Students will create a paper airplane and have two chances to fly it. Points will be earned for how far the plane flies. Parent helpers will help those that may not know how to make a paper airplane. Mrs. Meister and I had fun seeing whose paper airplane went farther. Look at how we're smiling and laughing and high-fiving in between. Pledging and prizes. So the whole point of playing those games and doing those activities is to get you excited about raising money for our help group through our game -a on the second page of our pick form, again with our Gameathon logo on top, you'll see a collection sheet. The Gameathon takes place on Friday, October 11th. Between today and October 11th, I want you guys to ask family and friends, anyone that your parents approve, you're not going to go door to door, I want you to ask anybody that your parents approve of if they would donate. You write down their names. There are two ways to donate. You're going to earn points playing the games that I just showed you how to play, you can either pledge an amount of money per point earned, or 
your parents or family members or friends could donate just a straight amount. So if Liv, uh, if she wanted me to pledge, I could either pledge her point or I could just say, here's ten dollars, that's what I'd like to donate to the game of fun. Alright? These stay at home. When we're all done with our event, parent volunteers will write down the number of points on a collection envelope and send it home. So on October 11th, you'll be sending it home and you start bringing your money back the very next school day, which will be Monday the 14th. Now let's talk about the prizes that you would get from raising money. All right? You guys want to turn and look? The first prize, remember last year we did Jump Rope for Heart? Did you guys like the rubber duckies that we got for Jump Rope for Heart? Yeah. 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 You only have to raise $5. If you raise only $5, Bring it back into school on October the 14th when we start collecting money, you get a rubber ducky. But that's not the only thing you get for raising $5. Remember last year. Last year, every $5 that you raised earned a ticket that got put into a bucket. And one lucky winner per grade level will get to throw a pie in my face. Like this. The way that you do that is if every $5 you get is going to go into a bucket. Got it? That's the pie in the face. You guys want to throw a pie in my face or what? Yeah! yeah. Okay. The next thing that you can earn through our fun run. All right. First thing is if you raise $25, I'm wearing a medal, and it's really made out of metal. It's not plastic. What do you think? Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> raise $25, you're going to go home with your very own game thon medal. The next step up. If you raise $40, your parents will like this one. Last year, for students that raised a certain amount of money, we had a movie night. And guess what? Your parents don't even need to go. So maybe your parents will be motivated to donate 40 bucks so that you guys can stay later after school on Friday and they maybe can do some Christmas shopping or they can go out and see a movie themselves. What do you think about a movie night? Yeah! Okay? Now, here's the good stuff. Toys R Us. And there are lots of ways to win Toys R Us gift cards. Who likes Toys R Us? Yeah. You can buy video games, stuffed animals, toys, whatever you want. They've got it at Toys R Us. The way that you can win Toys R Us gift cards, the overall big money winner. So the person that raises the most money is going to get a $50 gift card at Toys R Us. Oh. Pretty good. The second place person, the kid who raises the second most amount of money for our gameathon, is going to get a let's see, thirty-five dollar gift card in Toys R Us. Not bad, right? You can still get a video game. Not too bad. There's still more ways to win. If you haven't won first or second place, but at your grade level, you're the top prize winner, the top donator. Get a $25 gift card. We're going to give away five gift cards to Toys R Us. What do you think about that? Wow. Yeah. 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 We also participating as a class. We're going to award a prize to the class that raises the most money. We're going to award a prize to the class that has the highest percentage of kids participating. So even if your class doesn't raise the most money and you have a lot of kids participating, you might win a class prize. The class that raises the most money will keep in their possession for the entire year the coveted Harvey Cup. Wow. Okay, so now you know about the game thon you know about the games we're going to play, you know about the prizes that you can earn, and you know about the pledge sheet. Here's hoping that you guys will go home, raise a bunch of money so we can reach our $7,000 help group goal. That money will go towards assemblies, field trips, books for our classroom, classroom magazines. They do all sorts of stuff to help our school. We really want to help them out. So what do you guys think about the game of thon yeah. We'll see you on October 11th. Yeah.